All right, shoulder rotation, internal and external. So you're gonna start with your arms here at 90 degrees. So see how they are 90 here and 90 from the side. For external rotation, you're gonna start here and you're gonna pull back. Okay, so strengthening those rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff is not one muscle, it is four muscles. An external rotation is controlled by more than one of those four muscles. So doing this with just body weight is completely sufficient, but notice how the motion is just through my forearm. All right. From there, internal rotation, you're, you're here, and then you're coming down and back. You wanna keep the shoulder blades stable and just drop it down. So from the front. And again, that's rotator cuff muscles action. And then shake it out. Another variation is that you can hold your arms at 90 degrees like this and open and close. And when I do this, just notice that my elbows are not flaring away from the side of my body. Internal rotation. Same kind of thing, but you're pulling in. So you would be coming across the midline of the body. I always think this one just feels a little bit better when you've got a little bit of resistance externally with the band. 